Well apparently my, 27M, girlfriend of 5 months, 30F, is happily married with two children. Five months ago I met this great woman at a bar. She was with her friends and I bought drinks for all of them and struck up conversation with her. We hit it off instantly and I took her home that night and had mind-blowing romance. She didn't stay the night, though, saying she had to get up early for work. Over the next five months we've had an awesome relationship. We went on some nice dates and had romance at least three times a week. She only stayed the night very rarely, but I didn't think much of this as she did indeed have to get up early. Any time I tried to suggest possibly living together she said she wasn't ready for that yet. Understandable. We did hang out at her place a few times but just like her staying the night, it was very rare. I just chalked this up to her feeling more comfortable at my apartment since it was cozy air. Silly ducking me to not question why an apparently single woman lived in a big house. I have Facebook but I don't use it or any other social media. I think it's a waste of time and she told me she doesn't use it either. Well last week I decided to mess around on Facebook for a bit and found her profile seeing as we have two mutual friends, really just acquaintances for me. This is where it gets weird. Her name was totally different from what I had known her as. She's seemingly happily married and has two kids around ages 3 and 6. She posts a ton of pictures of her and her husband doing all sorts of coupley stuff so I doubt they're separated or going through a divorce. She has never told me any of this. I figured out pretty quick that I was the other man and honestly I feel physically ill knowing that. I have a visceral hatred for cheaters and I feel just gross that I've done this. I feel so stupid that I never figured this out earlier, either I'm just an idiot or she hid this masterfully, maybe both. She never once mentioned being married with children, saying that she was single. Duck, even when I went to her house, I didn't see any family pictures or any traces of her family. This which actually made the effort to hide any indications that she was married and had kids. I feel sick just typing this. I haven't contacted her since I found out, with the excuse that I need to focus on my job for a bit. She was cool with it still sends some pictures and sexts and how eager she is to see me again. I responded half-heartedly but only to stop her from getting suspicious. God I feel nauseous. I'm going to tell her husband. This is just so wrong and it hurts me to know that this man is being deceived by his terrible wife. This hits close to home since my aunt pulled this poop on my uncle and he is the kindest man alive. Thankfully I have a habit of not deleting any texts manually so I still have the majority of our texts. I screenshotted everything so I could show them to her husband. I want to figure out a way to meet him in person but I feel like he's going to tell his wife oh hey honey some guy named the Thurman problems asked me to meet him for coffee and that will allow her to shovel some BS down this throat. From his Facebook I found out where he works so I'm thinking I could try and catch him shortly after he leaves. I plan to divulge all details of the affair, give him all the screenshots, and for my own safety, explain that I had no idea she was married. I don't know if proof of infidelity will help him out but I feel like it's the least I can do. I'm still sickened that she could lie to her family like this so I hope she gets what's coming to her. Some of you might suggest that he has a cuckold romantic obsession or maybe they have an open relationship or some garbage like that. Really, what are the chances? Besides, if he really did have a cuckold romantic obsession, I'm sure she would have either mentioned it or took pics slash videos of us having romance so she could show it to him, or maybe even have romance in his presence. And if they were in an open relationship, I'm certain she would have told me that. No, I'm pretty sure she's cheating on her husband. So what should I do? Should I try and request to meet up online? Or should I try and find him in person? To those of you who might recommend telling her either you tell him or I will, hell ducking no. I'm not gonna give her an opportunity to weave some bull poop tale of how she had an emotional affair with me, moment of weakness, or some poop. And to those of you who champion breaking up with her and just staying out of it entirely, jeet foe. I'm not going to let her continue to lie to and betray him under the excuse that it's not my problem anymore. I'm not a poopy person. I won't give her a free pass for cheating. Too long, didn't read, 
Found out my girlfriend has a husband and two kids. I'm the other man. I feel so bad. Will tell the husband, need to figure out how. Hey guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out, thanks. Meeting him in person sounds like a bad idea. You have no idea how he'll react. I would send an email or send a message through Facebook first telling him everything and offering proof through screenshots if he needs them. That's what I'm afraid of. He might be violent and I don't want any of that jazz. But if I try to contact him online maybe his wife will find it first. For all I know she might have access to his stuff. Update well apparently my, 27m, girlfriend, 30f, of 5 months is happily married with 2 children. Currently typing this from my hospital bed because he beat the poop out of me. Just kidding. Some posters tried to tell me not to tell him but duck that. Most of you told me to go through with it but through email slash letter basically without physical interaction. Even though it was a massive risk, I thought it would be better for me to explain this poop to him in person so I decided to meet him. I called work explaining I'd be late and then drove over to his workplace around 7.20 am. Then I just went inside and waited in the lobby, watching the door for him to appear. He came in around 8 am and immediately I walked up to him, told him by name I have something important to tell him, and asked if he could meet me after work at a nearby Starbucks. He was perplexed but I convinced him that it's very important and told him not to tell anyone. He agreed, thankfully. So then I went to my job and went about the day as usual. At 5.30 I was waiting at Starbucks and he came in shortly after. Then the conversation began. I explained to him that what I was gonna say would crush him and I requested a chance to say my piece without interruption. He allowed this so I told him everything. About how I met his wife, how she used a fake name, the five month affair, the lengths she went to to conceal it, everything. For my own safety I emphasized how I didn't know she was married, how I found out about her secret, and how I decided to tell him as soon as I found out. I then handed him a folder containing all of the screenshots. He looked through all of it and then just stared at his coffee in total silence for a minute or two. He then replied, firstly thanking me for coming to him with this information and for doing the right thing. He said if he were in my position he would have done the same thing. Then he told me how he had suspected his wife was cheating but then his wife lied to him, assuring him nothing was going on. Then for the next 10 minutes he asked questions about the affair, like about the dates we went on, the romance, she never did but with him but did it often with me, the conversations we had, etc. I told him the complete truth. By the end of this he was enraged but didn't attack me or anything. Instead he thanked me once more for telling him, and told me I'm a good man. Then he said that although he appreciates me telling him, he told me never to contact him again for obvious reasons. I totally understood and was cool with it. At this point he was getting up to leave so I asked him what he plans to do. He said he would definitely divorce her and that the screenshots would help him out since they apparently have an infidelity clause in their prenup. She cheated on him at the early stages of their relationship. I was elated to hear this, wished him the best of luck, and we parted ways. I paid for his coffee. So there it is. Thankfully I escaped unharmed. No injuries, no wounds, nothing. I deleted the cheating witch's number and cleared my phone of all traces of this shitstorm. I'm proud of what I did and I pray that the cheating witch faces harsh justice. Good night, Reddit. Hero signing out. Too long, didn't read, met up with guy after work, told him everything as per original plan. He thanked me, said he would divorce her, and will use my screenshots as evidence due to the infidelity clause in their prenup. Total win all around. Both of you guys sound like up and up dudes. You guys handled it very well. BTW the first few sentences got me. Well played up. I was actually really scared when I was going to tell him. He is a big guy and way more muscular than me. I'm 5 feet 7 inches 150, he absolutely dwarfed me. If we did fight I would be in the morgue. Good for you for taking the risk and letting the man know what a lying cheat she is. Poor man clearly gave her the benefit of the doubt and second chance. 
Clever move have a prenuptial with an infidelity clause in it. Hope all goes well for him. May your next GF not make you an accessory to cheating. Flawless victory. Finish her. Did it ever come up that you were in his house? That's about where I would have lost it and thrown a table. Yeah I was expecting him to swing when I mentioned this part. When I explained that she removed all trace of the kids and him, he was like WTF speechless.